Oh, hello! Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, what time you're watching the video. Today we are for some mountain biking and uh, I've done a few changes on the on the lefty Cannondale uh, because I used to have very tiny tires. Traps good for speed cross country, but um, I wanted something more grippy. For me, the mountain bike is real off-roading, going through mud and eventual snow and whatever. I want lots of grip descending. And so I fit on some uh, sort of uh, enduro um, type uh, tires, which uh, are much grippier. And today we're gonna just go and ride and test them out. The tire of choice for this time is the Michelin Wild Rock 2. It's a 29er and it's a 23.5 of um, width. And it fits perfectly on the lefty, well, on the front there's no problem. On the back as well, like as you can see, there's still a lot of clearance between the, the tire and the bike, so there's no problem. When I ordered them, I was worried that uh, it was going to be too tight on the frame, but uh, there is no problems at all. As you say, they're really knobbly and uh, they are very, very grippy. I've just done a couple of miles to get to his point, but uh, I could immediately realize in the corners so much grip. You can see there's a lot of clearance, so there's no problem for probably putting something even bigger on this bike. But let's go and test them out and ride and see how well they handle corners and whatever comes our way. Let's go. To see these knobbly tires biting into the terrain and uh, off-road is fantastic. Of course, I've done a little bit of tarmac getting to here and uh, you can really hear the sound the noise like when you drive a Jeep with the, the big off-roader tires. But that's not the purpose of this tire. These tires are made to be ridden on off-roading. So mud, uh, terrain, soft terrain, sleepy terrain. We want a grip. We want a comfort as well. Let's keep riding along and check them out. Of course, uh, of course, using such knobbly tires, if you ride in, uh, in mud, uh, in uh, wet and dirt, you want to perhaps uh, add some mud guards to your bike, because uh, being so knobbly, so big um, grooves into the tire, they tend to throw you <laughs> everything at you. So whatever is gravel, everything comes up to you, uh, not on your face, but onto your frame. So you might as well put a bike frame protection on the front tube underneath underneath the pedals, the bottom bracket, try to protect everything. And on the back, of course, if you have a nice jersey, you want to keep it nice and clean. You want to you wanna put some uh, good mud guards on the back. I'm wearing a windshield that I don't care particularly, so it's all washable anyway. But uh, just to take in consideration, because the tires are so knobbly, they throw everything back at you. Let's see how they handle the corner. Cornering is fantastic, as you can feel. Good thing of uh, fitting the bigger tires like this that you can also um, have the positivity to increase the comfort and the grip of your ride because uh, you know you can deflate it a little bit in case of very slippery terrain or mud or steep and uh, or you can make it harder if you want to ride a bit faster in a, just a terrain like this quite compact so you're gonna get some speed to keep up with your mates and uh, it gives you much more possibility of adjusting uh, the pressure, the comfort and the grip of choice. Well, I think they look fantastic on this bike. I like the right size. I think it's the right size. 29 per 23.5 of width is a very good size. They're really knobbly. Of course not if you want to do something really fast on easy and dry terrain because they make a little bit more friction being wider but 
they fantastic for the purpose of riding off-road, having good grip and control in the corners and everything. So if you fit more nobly tires or if you ride uh, off-roading often with um, mud and dirt, you might consider I'm gonna give you this other tip. When you buy a, a water bottle, try to get one of these ones where you can have uh, a lid that you can lift, like this one here. As you can see, you can lift the lid, and so when you drink it, you drink from a clean surface. You're not gonna drink from a bottle that is all full of dirt, and, and there's also some danger of picking up, catching some possible disease, because people spray chemicals from anything on the road. So it's better to have a lid that protects here, where you're gonna chew your water. So it's always clean. Yes, you might say you can also use one of those um, rucksacks, a small backpack with a water bladder, but I don't like it. It takes too much plastic to me. I don't like the, the taste of it. But here I can fit whatever I like, just normal water, or I can put some of those tablets with some uh, multivitamins or whatever. You know, there's so many things to put inside the water bottle. Generally, I just love clean water, and then I get some bars, some energy bars, or a banana, depends, you know. But this is another subject for maybe another video. Keep riding on these new tires. Now it's getting really warm. It's early March. One day is really hot springtime weather. Next day, when I started this morning, it was five degrees Celsius. So it's quite chilly. And so I've been wearing too many clothes. So let's take off my windshield. Now I pump them at four PSI. As you can see, they're quite hard. So for good rolling, because they're not doing anything particularly technical or slippery. And then later on, maybe we deflate them a little bit when we go up on the, on the track, which is quite muddy, quite slippery. There might be some ice and snow still. Now let's get you to hear the rolling sound as we're riding for a lead on transfer road on the tarmac. Rolling sound. For the rolling sound and friction on the tarmac, you have to consider they're also brand new, eh? so when they're brand new they make a little bit more friction and everything, of course, they're gonna start and get a little bit more worn out and, uh, and everything will get smoother, but they're still fantastic, I love them. That's at least what I want them to do, you know, that's their purpose, to ride and grip on off-road slippery conditions. I don't want a mountain bike to be used on the tarmac. I got a road bike for that. <laughs> the gradient and see the tires put them to the test. The grip test to some gravel to some stiff gradient. See how they're gripping. Lovely, lovely, fantastic they are. Amazing comfort on cobbles. So this first uh, ride with a Michelin White Rock 2 has been great. I could taste them on most condition that we find. Some mud, some crossing the river, some steep terrain with gravel, some bit of snow and ice at the top of the hill. And then um, in corners, the handling is really good. That's what I'm expecting from a mountain bike ride. To have lots of grip, compromising perhaps a little bit uh, the pure rolling resistance. But, you know, if you want to ride fast on uh, compact roads you might as well use another tire but this one is specific for off-roading one thing i recommend i struggle quite a lot to put them on at first brand new and really hard and tight to put them on the tire on the on the rim even with the mechanic we struggle a little bit with tire levers and everything so in case of a puncture and everything i would be worried that i won't be able to put them on just like this on the road with the levers and so i recommend you getting one of these puncture repair spray 
so you make sure that you make your way home somehow. Uh, otherwise, I'm not, you know, I, I broke two levers trying to do that. When they are brand new, they're really, really tight to put them on the rim. So when you get this tire brand new, put your foot on inside and pull them out. Try to stretch them out a little bit before trying to put them on the, on the, on the rim. And uh, we put some soap around to get them to go to mount. As I'm not using a, a tubeless, I don't like the tubeless system. I'm not quite confident with that. I don't know you, you what you think about it. Let me know in the comments below if you use tubeless, if you prefer tubeless or this kind of system. I'm more used to this uh, using the air inside. And, um, and so um, if, you, if you have other recommendations of other tires similar to this one, you can leave them in the description below. Leave your experiences and uh, other type of tires. But uh, if you're looking for a tire that is very good off-roading and good grip and riding and coming downhill, I really enjoy it. It really is an enduro tire. So coming down the single track, full gas, cornering and everything has been fantastic. Big change. It's changed completely my bike. Even on cobbles and everything, it was so much more comfortable ride. Okay, if you like this kind of um, videos, a few tips about cycling, a few little experiences, riding experiences, you're welcome to subscribe to the channel Fabulous Sport Outdoors and Photography. The link of the subscribing button is down here below. Press the like button, it's always pleasant to see some like. Press the dislike if you don't like it, that doesn't matter. But have fun and get out more. It's Fabulous Outdoors. See you next time.